the baby's soul, and they sent it out with a tug, and it's presumed dead and lost at sea until it should return and claim its minor estate. No physician delivers a baby. Only a doctor does. Doctor is doc tender. The baby is a vessel, a ship. That's where the all caps name comes in. If you look at the names of ships, they're in all capital letters. Okay. No one disclosed the terms and conditions of the contract, yet you were handed a stack of papers to fill out, and you were only told, and this was right out of the nurse's manual, this is just to register your baby with the state and to give it a name. And you fill out the paperwork, and you name your baby, and you sign as an informant. What is the legal definition of the word informant? Someone who gives someone else up to another, thereby giving the title and equity of your child to the state. This creates a doctrine called parents patre. Guess I should write that. It's Latin for state is your parent. State is the parent. Creates a doctrine of parents patre. Through this doctrine, that's how they have control over you. And through your consent of being a citizen, a person, a resident. Three things you never want to be. I hope that chair's not too comfortable. I don't want, I don't want to see you doing that now. All right, I'll throw something at you. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> the doctrine of parents patre. So no terms and conditions of the sales contract were given. No full and honest disclosure of the contract. No two wedding signatures. No one there was securities licensed, insurance licensed. No prospectus was given. If you go to your stockbroker and you want to invest in a corporation, you, he is required by law to give you a prospectus, right? And you weren't given one. What I'm trying to teach you here is it was all done through fraud without any full and honest disclosure of the contract. You were licensed, bonded, insured. Your vessel was created. A Sustacuv trust was created. 